Hey everybody, so today we are building a view pager with a tab layout. View pager will contain fragments. Let's see an example. Okay, let's start building. First, uh, make sure that you have these two dependencies in your Gradle settings then go to the main layout resource file and add a custom view named tab layout okay put it at the top of the relative layout and make sure that its width is set to match parent let's just change the background to look more appealing then add a second custom view choose uh, view page place it under the tab layout then let's give them some appropriate names and just add two more attributes so these two attributes will make uh, tab uh, layout uh, equally distributed I mean the tabs will be equally distributed after that go to the main activity and reference these two views first view pager for the view pager we need to set an adapter and we will create a new custom adapter and because we are creating custom adapter we need to pass it uh, our context alongside the get supported fragment manager create a new inner class that extends fragment pager adapter fix this constructor by calling super method then implement necessary methods besides these two we need one more and that method is char sequence it's necessary after that uh, let's create a string array that will hold names of our fragments so frag fragment 1 and 2 for our get count method make it return the size of this array so that means we have a two fragments of course then for our page title we need to pass it the name for our fragment and we will do that by returning a, our fragment array with an index of position next for the get item method uh, this is a method where we create the fragments so we will just switch our position and for each position we will create corresponding fragments so like this and now let's create the actual fragments so this is a new class fragment one implement on create view method that will return our custom layout for the fragment let's create that fragment layout by going to the layout resources file creating a new file called frag one let's just put random view inside of it and finish our method filling so r.layout.frag1 container falls now uh, we need one more fragment we can just copy paste the previous one and just replace our layout frag1 with frag2 and again copy paste our frag1 and create new frag2 layout file inside of it uh, let's place different view like this text view then uh, now we can start our emulator and see what we have so far so as you can see we have a working view page that we can scroll through but there is no 
tab indicators and we will create them right now. So our tab layout equals again standard casting and after the casting we just want to type tablet dot setup with view pager and it's pretty simple you type your view pager one more thing that is left is to set on tab selected listener that contains methods for detecting tab changes with each tab comes its position and we can use that position and pass it to the view pager so that view pager knows that it needs to change to the fragment that corresponds to the tab's position. So to do that just type the following view pager dot set current item and we take a position from our tab so tab dot get position and copy paste this in all methods. Now let's see the emulator As you can see, it's working properly. That's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.